And now I'd like to turn on the microphone to, to our colleague, Dr. Gary Mendewitz. He comes to introduce, give the introduction for our keynote speaker, Ms. Gabriel Cadilla. Gary. Good evening. <laughs> President Shea, Ms. Kadir, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Koei Koei Tong Yong, Takaha. It is a great honor and pleasure for me to introduce a great friend of Taiwan, Ms. Rabia Kadir. She is a fighter for freedom and democracy for her people in East Turkestan. The Chinese call it Xinjiang, but we call it East Turkestan. Her country and Taiwan are both living in the shadow of a repressive regime in Beijing. During her life, she has worked hard and selflessly to help her people, the Uyghur people. She set up the Thousand Mothers Movement to promote job training for Uyghur women. And she set up evening schools for people who could not go to regular schools. Because she spoke up for her people, she experienced firsthand the anger of the Beijing regime which arrested her in 1999 when she was on her way to a meeting with the delegation of the American Congressional Research Service. Carrie Dumbo was part of the delegation and she was planning to be here tonight, but she sent her regrets that she couldn't join us. Ms. Kadir was charged with leaking state secrets and spent five and a half years in jail two of them in solitary confinement. But due to international pressure, she was released in 2005 and came to the United States to join her family. But even now, the Beijing regime doesn't allow five of her children to leave and keeps them hostage, two in prison and three and their families under house arrest. But we are very fortunate this evening to have her daughter, Raela Tash, here with us tonight. Raela visited Taiwan this summer for the release of the DVD, the powerful movie, Ten Conditions of Love. She warned that Taiwan could end up like Tibet and, Beijing and East Turkestan if they too put too much trust in China. Thank you very much, Raela, for speaking out. Give her a hand. The irony is, of course, that last year the Ma administration in Taipei bowed to the pressure from Beijing and rejected Rabias Kadir's attempt to go to Taiwan when she was wanted to visit Taiwan for the screening of the movie. Do we agree with the Ma administration? No. no. Do we agree that Rabia Kadir should be welcomed to Taiwan with open arms? Yes. Yes. yes. yes, because we are friends and we need each other. But friendship is a two-way street. Rabia is supporting us by speaking out for freedom and justice and we need to support her and the Uyghur people and the Dalai Lama and the courageous people of Tibet by speaking out for freedom and justice in East Turkestan and in Tibet. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome an incredibly courageous woman, the dragon fighter, Ms. Bia Kadir. Thank you. 
Uh, first of all, thank you all very much. I really appreciate this warm uh, and uh, welcome in this very special event. And uh, I would like to uh, express my deepest appreciation to the Taiwanese American Association, especially to uh, Mr. David Tsai and uh, Paul She. Also, uh, very appreciation to the kind introduction to Mr. Garrett Van der Wees and all of you, my great Taiwanese friends who have, who have come to this very special Thanksgiving banquet. And uh, on this very special Thanksgiving day, I would like to ask God to bless all the freedom loving peoples of Taiwan, Tibet, and East Turkestan. May God grant us our wishes so that we all enjoy freedom and human rights. Goshen <laughs> And also, I would like to extend my uh, regards to the chairwoman of the Taiwanese uh, Democratic Party, uh, Ms. Tsai Ing-wen, and also to the mayor of Kaohsiung, Ms. Chen Zhui. Because when my daughter, Ray, visited Taiwan, she was not only so much only welcome, but also the film, The Ten Conditions of Love, uh, the documentary about my life, was screened in Taiwan in spite of the fact that the Ma government decided not to allow me to enter Taiwan. So I would like to express my gratitude, appreciation, and extend my best regards to them and all the freedom-loving people in Taiwan. And uh, I love Taiwan and uh, the freedom loving people of Taiwan. I will visit Taiwan one day, regardless one person or a particular administration refuse me to enter Taiwan. I will be with, there with the Taiwanese people. And uh, not before long, when, we, when people talk about the Uyghurs in the West, actually few people know that the Uyghurs exist, especially because uh, of the good job the Chinese government had done to cover up. Just like our neighboring Tibetans, uh, the Uyghurs, and also the freedom-loving people of Taiwan, we were all occupied in 1949 by different Chinese regimes. And since then, we became so-called part of China. And in 1955, uh, China created the purported Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. 
Abdunum rayet günde, xtay hükümeti, kudde hazır mısı Tayvan ne? İktisadi cihetin Tayrak kalbimiz, Tayvan halkının hoşbulumuz, Tayvan halkının bayıklımız diye dek biz ki hazır sılağı işlet ve atkan muşbusulun biz ki meşlet gel. And uh, in those early days, uh, the promises of the Chinese government were the same. Basically, we're here to help you, to develop you, to invest. Just like the same kind of propaganda that China uh, has been propagating in Taiwan, for example. It's the same thing. Making people believe that good days are coming because of the Chinese government's policies. And uh, in the early days of Chinese occupation, the Chinese soldiers and also the uh, Chinese paratroopers, you know, paramilitary forces, they came in and they tried to be friendly with us and treat us really nicely. So we thought they were great people. And we thought they were our true friends. But our sweet dreams soon turned into a nightmare. And we realized they did not come to liberate us or free us, but come to occupy us. Then as a result, the Chinese authorities arrested tens of, even hundreds of thousands of our people and imprisoned and executed men. Hatta köşmen kardeşlerimizin bizki kulüp tuğan çırayını göremeydi kan bok kaldı. Then soon we were not able to witness the sweet smiles of the Chinese occupiers. İrki kemstiş biz başlandı. Then racism was a daily life. Biz silahı okşaş namurat, halatlanıp bekvatımız, beytvatımız neydi kan bok And the Chinese propaganda is, oh we are here to help this youth, the backward, born, uneducated, Barbarians, we're here to help you. Şu vaktin tatip ta hazır geçe, biz demokratiye, kişilik okuk, ya ki bir, yani yaptığın söz etişi mümkün emez, hazır geçe, bir günlük mu Uygur halkı tınışlıkı erişenmedi. Since the uh, first day of Chinese occupation of East Turkestan, until today, the Uyghur people have never enjoyed any kind of human rights, democracy or freedom. In fact, we have never enjoyed a moment of under Chinese rule. Aldı bilen bütün ziyalilerimiz, okutkışlılarımız, tarihçinilerimiz, dini alımlarımız bütünle buzuk ozurla da tırmıgı taşlandı. After waves of China's political campaigns and purges, uh, the Chinese authorities first targeted Uyghur intellectuals, scholars, teachers, professors, historian, historians, then wiped them out. Onun için iktisadi cihetin bayvok alanı, pumuçukla, kapitalizm yolu taşlanıkallar da emine turmağa taşladı. And in another campaign, the Chinese authorities rounded up all those wealthy Uyghurs, acclaiming them as landlords or those who follow the path of capitalism. Adamlarımızı namratlıkta iştirdi. And they pushed our people into poverty. Yer, öy, mülüklerimiz bir kağıt tatil edip, köşmenlerine böldüğünü bölüp verildi. And our lands, properties all were confiscated and turned over to Chinese uh, settlers and to Chinese military forces. Bunun da naraz boğalların hemisi milli bölgünçü de ölüm cezası hüküm kalındı. And those Uyghurs who, who protest against such blatant violation of their rights, they were arrested in prison, many of them were executed as separatists or nationalists or counter-revolutionaries. As you already know then, when people are poor, the only thing they think about are just the three meals a day. And they don't have time to think about educating their children, to think about their future, and their own rights.